Let's talk about some backup fundamentals here. And backup with a large scale distributed system like Cassandra or Datastax Enterprise, there's a few things to understand here. First of all, why should we back up our data? Well, the obvious is what if you lose all your databases? Sure, that's really unlikely. I used to work in operations and I never restored a database because of a database failure. I always had to restore databases because of a program failure or a user failure. Somebody typed in the wrong command and deleted something that they shouldn't. That is a real danger in a distributed system. If you make an error in your data and it propagates throughout the entire cluster or maybe across multiple data centers, you gotta have a way to get it back. This is where your backups really come in handy. So snapshots are how we do backups. Snapshots are these files that we create based on the SS tables. Now, one of the really cool things about a Cassandra SS table, of course, it's immutable, meaning it's never gonna change again. And if you write it out to the file system, you can guarantee that that's the way it's gonna stay. There's nothing that keeps it open. If you've ever done backups on relational databases, you knew that was one of the big problems, open files. There would be a file sitting there, the database is trying to write to it, you can't touch it because it's an open file. SS tables are written and done, but if they're written and done, that means you can do a snapshot on the file system and get it out really quickly. So when you run a snapshot, it creates a hard link to that file, meaning that it's on the file system level. And hard links are created almost instantaneously. So when you do create snapshot, boom, there's your snapshot ready to go. It's really a magical trick with the Linux file system that can be used really effectively to run your backups. The thing to understand though, is that SS table is a point in time. And when you run a snapshot, it will keep that point in time in place. What happens with new data is it creates new SS tables. Those files will not be snapshotted unless you run a snapshot at that time. So running a snapshot means right now, what's the data on the disk, not in the mem table. So when you run the snapshot command, a snapshot directory is created. If you look inside of it, you'll see all those files inside of it. Now, because it's a hard link, it's not actually consuming disk space. And that's kind of cool because say you're using 50% of your disk space, if it was actually copying all that data, then it would consume all of the data on your disk. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure that you have plenty of space. Hard links are awesome for just that. Now keep in mind, if you do copy those files to somewhere else, then it breaks the hard link and it will consume disk space, a lot of it. The way to manage those files is move it away from that node and put it into something like S3 or an object store somewhere, or even NFS, something that is away from that node that you can get to it later. So this is a basic overview of how snapshots work and how backups work in a running Cassandra cluster with DSE.